early stages of the investigation and the details are subject to change. The Austin Police Department is investigating an officer-involved shooting that occurred at 9308 Bernoulli Drive. At 2.49 a.m., 911 communications received a call requesting help at that same location where a caller was screaming for help. The caller provided more details and said somebody was stabbing her. At approximately 2.57 a.m., the first officers arrived on scene wearing Austin Police Department uniforms and responding in a patrol capacity to a shooting, stabbing hotshot call. The officers began to gather additional information, including the suspect's location. Officers were also notified that there were two other people injured inside the residence with the suspect. Prior to officer's arrival, a third victim of the suspect was able to escape from the residence and was located by officers in Austin Travis County EMS in the neighborhood. She said the suspect still had a knife and she was subsequently transported um, at 3.03 a.m. by Travis County EMS to a local hospital for the injury she had sustained. Based on that information provided to the officers at approximately 3 a.m., officers made emergency forced entry into the residence to rescue the two victims. Before officers made entry, they announced themselves and identified themselves as Austin police officers. At 3.01 a.m., as the officers entered, they were fired upon by the suspect. The officers then backed out of the residence and did not return fire at that time. It's time to... At 3.06 a.m., because the suspect was armed and barricaded inside a residence and had two hostages, SWAT was called out to the scene. At approximately 4.11 a.m., officers, SWAT officers arrived on, on scene and forced entry into the residence a second time to rescue the victims. As SWAT officers entered, the suspect immediately fired his gun at the officers and the officers, the SWAT officers returned fire. At approximately 4.15 a.m. During the exchange of gunfire, information was provided over the radio that two officers were shot. The two officers were transported to a local area hospital by Austin Travis County EMS. The suspect on scene succumbed to his injuries and was pronounced deceased. Despite the tremendous efforts of our officers, our EMS TAC medics, our Austin Fire Department, and the staff at the local hospital, one of our, our officers succumbed to his injuries. The second officer is in stable condition. Two apparent victims of the suspect were located inside of the residence with fatal injuries and were pronounced deceased on scene. This officer involved shooting was captured on body worn camera. Multiple APD officers discharged their department approved firearms. The officers will not be identified at this time. APD will conduct two concurrent investigations into this incident. A criminal investigations conducted by the APD Special Investigations Unit in conjunction with the Travis County District Attorney's Office and an administrative investigation conducted by the APD Internal Affairs Unit with oversight from the Austin, from the Office of Police Oversight. I'd like to thank Travis County TAC Medics and Travis County EMS, our officers on scene, 
Austin Fire and the medical staff that treated our officers and worked so hard to save our officers' life. It's very much appreciated. I'd also like to highlight the incredible bravery displayed by our officers day in and day out. I could not be more proud of their heroic actions. Thank you.